Hello, welcome back again. It's Chris Richter here. I have one of the most awesome plugins to demonstrate to you that I found recently and did some tests on it and it is absolutely awesome. It is called the Hide Correctly Answered Questions on Reattempt. Basically, when you're doing a quiz or a student does a quiz, they answer all the questions or they may miss a couple of questions or they have to go back and re-answer something, especially if you have an essay type question in there or if they have to go back again and re-attempt the quiz, they then have to go back and re answer all the questions again and that is highly inconvenient it's frustrating it's annoying especially if they get it wrong the second time around so what this plugin does it allows a student to re-attempt a quiz and all of their correct answers are automatically hidden but it does something else which is really cool as well and that is that it also takes the correct answers that the student has given and puts them through and any feedback or comments from the teacher as well they all carry through for the questions as well so I want to demonstrate this to you right now now just to jump into before we go any further for those that are interested in the settings for this plugin jump to the end of the video and I'll give you a quick rundown on what the settings are there isn't many of them it's really simple so like I said Head to the end of the video after I demonstrated how it all works and I'll show you those settings. Here we go. It's a plugin. It's available for Moodle 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. There may be an earlier version. I'll have a look here. There is a 3.11. 3 so it does go back that far. So I'm going to demonstrate this on Moodle 4.1. I have it already installed, which is great. I'm going to take you into a test course that I've got and I'll give you a look at how it all happens. So jumping in first of all from a student's perspective, a student goes in to do a quiz, they go to the quiz just like this, they then choose attempt quiz which is perfect, they answer all the questions, in this case uh, true is correct, we're going to make it false so you can see what happens if you get it incorrect, this one is multiple choice is correct, we're going to choose this one correct so we've got one at least that is. Then we've got an essay question, so we'll put this answer one. Remember essay questions, a teacher has to mark those. Answer question two and answer question three. All right, and finish attempt. Submit all and finish. So the student's gone through and done all of that. It shows them that they've got one incorrect, one correct, and they've responded to three essay questions. So we can just go finish. Let's jump back to our teacher. Okay, our teacher goes in and you can see one attempt and the teacher goes in to mark that attempt so they'll go in and they'll review that attempt here it is the student's got the first one wrong then here it says they've answered the question one we're going to get the teacher to mark that so the teacher goes in to mark it and we'll just say well done and we'll give the student a mark of one that's fantastic and we're out of there we'll go down to our second essay question and for this one i'll mark this one as please try again and I won't give them a mark I'll just go save and that's what we need to do so the student at this stage hasn't answered all the questions yet they need to go back and do a re-attempt so back to the student we're back on the student now and the student if they go back to re-attempt quiz you can see that their first one has come up with select true or false okay we're going to let them get it correct this time so they're choosing true you can see over on the right they've got those two correct because this one was marked by the teacher this one was the multiple choice when I go next though it jumps straight to the second essay question so it skipped these questions here because it doesn't need them to do them again which is perfect they were told they needed to fix this one up so their second response they go in next page answer question three again because they didn't get marked that one marked submit all and finish now the student has submitted them all. You can see there it's already got well done correct. Now because they resubmitted their question, there's no grade or anything happens here yet. We've now got the teacher has to go in and mark those other two. You can see how the student hasn't had to worry about going back in and re-visiting uh, those questions that have already been marked. Uh, again for the student, they've still got four and five to be graded. So let's go back in as a teacher. We're back as a teacher and we're looking at attempt number two. This time you can see they've got the first one correct. Got the second one correct. Uh, this one was well done. They've already got a grade for that. So that one's all done. Finished correct and graded. There we go. Now we jump down to third question. So now they've put in a second response, which they fixed that up, which we asked them to. So we can go in and go perfect. And we can go one grade for them and save. Get that out the way. And we can go down and grade the, the last one as well and say so, well done well actually no let's not grade that 
Uh, then we can go down to the third one. If we don't grade that one, we just leave it and we finish the review. We can then go back to the student. If they go to reattempt for their third attempt. You'll see now for their third attempt, when it opens, they only have one left to do that they have to finish off. So this is perfect for those situations where you have a lot of questions. The ones that teachers are going to mark, especially with essay questions, check out the plugin. It's really worth giving it a go. I'll put a link there for you as well so you can find it. Check it out. So we go into the settings. And in the settings, we have a collection of all the typical standard bits of information, including layout and all that sort of thing. We've got question behavior. If we go into question behavior, the first one we need to make sure that is set is each attempt builds on the last needs to be yes. So set that as yes. And that's most of what we need to worry about for this plugin. The other part of the plugin though, is the extra restrictions on attempts. So if you jump into extra restrictions on attempts and you use the show more button, you'll see there we have these two extra options down here. Hide questions on attempt and you can disable that or you can enable that. So hide the correct answer question in new attempt. So that's where it hides it from a student uh, because they've already got it marked correct. They don't need to see that question again. Uh, question auto grade is auto grade the correct question. So that's just basically means if the question is already correct on a new attempt, it's been marked, the grade will apply to the new attempt as well, which is really important. So both of those options should be set with auto grade correct and hide the correct answer. And that's it. We just save and jump straight into the quiz. And that's all the settings that you need to look at. Hopefully you found all of that really, really useful. It is a great plugin. Uh, we gave it a, a bit of a run through and tried out some different things with it just to see what we could do with that and how it all works. Hopefully that's been helpful and I will see you in the next video.